This video is sponsored by RuneScape. Just visit www.runescape.com forward slash rude10devil to redeem your free punch in the face. Hello boys and girls, I'm Redevil. Welcome back to the Age of the Ring mod. This is version 6.0. Today we're checking out the new dwarves, the dwarven revamp. So, the fortress huh, looks kind of the same, but you click on it. And now we can choose between the reign of Oakenshield and the reign of Iron Foot. Now, there are changes to Oakenshield as well, but since this is completely new, well, mostly new, we're going to check out the Reign of Iron Foot. We're on a map that I should have remembered the name to, but uh, I played on it before. It's that 2v2v2. Um, that's actually really cool. We're clearly in Mordor or some shit because there's lava everywhere. Um, so it's double Erebor, double Woodland Realm, and double Misty Mountains, I think. So we got ourselves a three-way, and I gave myself a death march so that I can talk and hopefully he'll carry. Um, also, just in case I get, like, quad-teamed or something. Um, so yeah, the spellbook is the same. Uh, I can't re quite remember the specifics, but I swear sending the goats is stronger, because I was doing some serious damage with this. Uh, Moro Reclaimed does have a new icon, um, but they are just as sexy and as awesome as ever. So, I actually honestly find the Dwarven spellbook the hardest to choose, like, which one to go with, because... This is, like, just good damage. Like, the Horn, and then the Goats, and then just Mori Reclaimed is so strong. But Durin's Day actually comes back so fast, and it heals you and stuns, that I'm tempted to go with the debuff, the free armor, and then this. But then the Eco is also really good, particularly in PvE. So, I don't know. It's honestly... Like, it's a good problem to have, I guess. Uh, I think... I think You know what? We're gonna go Durin's Day. We're gonna... We'll go this way, and then we'll get Mori Reclaimed. But, you know... The, the spellbook is uh, unchanged, basically, so that's not what we're really looking at today. But what we will look are the new heroes. Here he is, Big Boy Gloin. Not even not even messing around. Big Boy Gloin is coming into the fray. Finally, 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 they've added in the good heroes. I'm so happy. Uh, we better get some barracks. There are new buildings. We'll go through all that. We'll just get the Hall of Warriors, because that's uh, everything you know already. Um, but the other heroes, you've got the Daughter of Roak, which I not do. I have to... Uh, Admit, I didn't really know it was a thing, but um, she basically has the same abilities as Roak, except instead of Iron Hills Warriors, she summons uh, Dalish Outriders, which are just Cav. So if you don't want to use Battle Wagons, then they have uh, some cool Cav. Uh, I'm pretty sure Erebor doesn't get the Ram Riders, which makes me big sad. It gives me the big sad, honestly, but um, <clears throat> it's actually not that big a deal. There he is. Here he is. Look at him. Wait, what the hell? I just zoomed out. I don't know why half is... Okay, it was a lighting issue. Wow, well done. Look at that. Old man Gloin with his axe that he gives to uh, Gimli for his uh, uh, travels across Middle-earth. And look at the detail on his chainmail. It's like braided and everything. It's it's really cool. So, Gloin isn't the... Uh, you know, we'll, we won't get Hat Hodge yet. We'll get Brand. We'll just rush Brand. Why the hell not? As I said in my other video, I'm a man of impulse, a man of temptation. But anyway, um, Gloin is basically the like support hero, or what I consider support. Um, a bit like Balin for the reign of uh, Oaken Shield, because he gets a heal at level one, which can um, it heals everyone, and then he can improve that to give armor to everyone at level three. This one I particularly love because the the uh, ability. Portrait is <laughs> the picture of Gimli as a child that we see in Desolation of Smaug, that little fan service we got, uh, which I always loved. So, uh, Gloin um, gets damage and armor when near his son, which I think is actually quite sweet. And we need to build more buildings. Um, we are now have the Erebor Assembly, which for the Reign of Oakenshield, uh, or instead of the Reign of Oakenshield, it replaces the Dalish Outhouse, whatever it was called. But this we basically get, if you think of like Gondor gets their fiefdom units, we basically get all of the different um, realms of uh, the dwarves in that, uh, plus the Men of Dale. So we get Erebor to win, we get Iron Hills. It's basically, if you don't want Erebor units, this is the building you, you make. Alright, it seems the elves. You know what, it is so cool being able to fight elves now. Like, well, Woodland Realm elves. I don't know. It was missing them daily. I didn't think it was missing them, but it totally is. Oh, a tree! Okay, fuck him. I don't want him out. Get out. And it seems the uh, the Raven Summon has a new image. The uh, new Spellbook image. 
I think that's actually really cool. It's an underrated part of, of Biff Me mod development, I think. And I'm not just saying that, I always look at that. I think that's cool. Alright, don't destroy the tree, because we want... We want the outpost. It's fucking dark, I hope that's okay. Um, so yeah, he gets a buff when he's near his son. Level 5, Venture Capitalism. He gets, um... Uh, he can improve the output of Mineshafts, which is really cool. And then level 8, he can just get a teleport. So, a lot of utility. Not the tanky beast that we remember, but you don't really need the tanky beast because we get someone even better. And if I can get him to level 10, then you'll be fully... You'll, you'll fully see why he's better. Anyway, so we have the son of... No, the grandson of Bard, I think. He's either the son or the grandson. But this is Brand from uh, Vanilla Rise of the Witch King, which I think is voiced by Samwise. I think he is. It, it, Voices, like, a good voice actor is you can't really tell who it is. That doesn't make s you think that would be the case, but, um, like, basically that they have such range in their voice that it's kind of hard to tell who's doing it. That's what I mean. So it does sound a bit like Sam. But he, 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 it's not like his vanilla, his generic voice, you know, that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying, trying to compliment him here, but it's coming across really shitty. Say what now, Big Fudge? Anyway, so this is the uh, Erebor assembly. So we get our um, Barding Phalanx, which are the pikemen, Barding Swordsmen, the Longbowmen, Eridlwyn Traders, which we're going to make. We get the uh, Eridlwyn Rangers, which I'm not really sure if I'm going to use them a lot. I feel like in 5.0, I had a lot of different builds for the dwarves, like... A lot of different combos, like you could go the Vault Wardens and Iron Hills Crossbowmen, or you could just go into Men of Dale because they're actually really strong. It really... I know, there's a lot of variety, so maybe there's a... a like, maybe you'll need uh, really fast uh, infantry. Um, but they're actually melee, they're actually like dual dagger. And they can basically uh, run really fast and hit really hard. I think you'd use them for building harass, actually. That's probably what it is, eco harass. It's a bit of a shame you have to upgrade to, to get them, though. I don't know. I think I would actually make them level 1. But anyway, what is that? That's the buff, isn't it? Yeah. Freaking elk antlers. Look at that heal, boys! And look at Brand freaking stacking the levels already. A new upgrade is ready. So we're upgrades. We're going to upgrade the fortress. We're going to get these Aerodal Wind Rangers. So, yeah, so Sand. I think they're good for eco harass. I mean, it says they're good against archers as well. I think because they're fast, they can get around. Did they take this? You fucking assholes! Uh, where are those guardians? Where are the Erdogan traders? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen. Um... God, that it's really dark on this map. But if you look, they have new shields. Some with the Arkenstone. And if you actually, you want to show, you want to show me your chest armor, dude. No, let me. Sh they have really nice chest armor. They're just being really shy at the moment. <laughs> I don't know if it's new or because uh, I can't quite remember what they used to look like. But um, yeah, no, they look they look really cool. And these are the Erdlewind trader. Uh, sorry, the Erdlewind Rangers. They actually heal out of combat. That's actually really useful. Alright, let's go on the offensive. Enough, enough of this defending nonsense. Uh, we'll get Gimli, so we can give Gloin his buff. This dwarf is ready, debuff. thought I heard something weird there, I'm not sure what that was. Who are we fighting here? Woodsman. What do the woodsmen say? Too many ar- holy crap, way too many archers! Retreat! Okay, this could be bad. Let's get some archers in here. So these are the rangers. As you can see, they've got- oh, they're not dual dagger, they got dual axes, and some of them have staffs. But they can increase their speed. <gasps> no! I think- yeah, he had some company. That's okay. We'll get him back, don't worry about it. 7-6. Don't worry about it. I know you guys are all slow clapping now. But we've got Brand, who's just gonna hide in his tower. This map is way darker than I remember. Look at that. I can't even see the banner. 
My size matters not. Alright, we're gonna get rebuild. I'm not losing a tower. I spent 500 getting the resource bonus on it. Yeah. Good luck, you bastard. Alright. I feel like Eco is a lot stronger. We're getting money so fast. What's our AI doing? Oh, he went with the reign of uh, Oakenshield. Look, the new image for Thorin. Ooh, now that is hot. I prefer the center of the action, if you don't mind. Um, so yeah, they can get, um, those rangers get bonus, uh, what is it, armor against arrows. So I guess against certain factions, like this one I'm fighting now, maybe we should fight them. Alright, we gotta be careful here, we don't have a heal. He's already got the elite, uh, the heavy infantry. Come on, anytime now. We're going there. Bran, we need you to shift your focus. So Bran can actually switch between his... Uh, Bran's actually got some really powerful abilities. He's like way stronger than Bard in my opinion. And well, I'll take you through it when I'm not getting dicked. Um, we'll make the other building now. The Erebor Redoubt. This is where we get... Our elite units. Our elite and heroic units. Um... Yeah, basically the, the tanky Vault Wardens and then the new Heroic unit we get from there. Damn, these Merkwood- Oh my god! <gasps> okay, the, the Shroud on that tree is... It's a really generous radius, honestly. So with Gimli, we can obviously switch his weapon. He can have Balan's Axe, which is the double-headed one, or the Glo or Gloin's Axe. By default, I think he comes out with Gloin's Axe. He does. Okay, that's fine. So, Gloin's one gives him movement speed and attack speed. And Balan's Axe gives him uh, armor and splash damage. That sounds like a weird combo. I would actually move the splash damage with the attack speed. And then give him movement speed and better armor. I don't know. I feel like that makes more sense. Because one is like for killing spam and the other one's for like killing heroes. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Anyway, we'll get Brand out of his tower. I have not forgotten the of the past. So nearby Manish allies give him, or he basically gives leadership to uh, Manish allies. Level 8, he can summon cavalry. Black Arrow of Dale. So this is another one of these incrementing abilities. It gets better as he levels up. So it's basically Brand's slam shot from vanilla. But level 5, knocks back units. Level 8, targeted units and heroes lose armor. And then he's got Mark of the Thrush, which is a throwback to the Hobbit, obviously. Enemies within the radius take increased damage from ranged attacks. And then he's got the Descendant of the Dragon Slayer, which is basically the Dragon Slayer. He's a really solid hero. Like, if you think Brand is just a meta pick in vanilla, then he I would say he's a meta pick in, uh, in um, uh, Age of the Ring as well. Alright, so we got the Vault Wardens, which we're going to make because they actually buff nearby mineshafts. Or get buffed by nearby mineshafts, I can never remember. They get the Worm Slayers, which uh, no one ever used to pick. But we're going to get them this game just to see how they go. And then we have the new heroic unit. The Khazad Uzbadul, Dwarves of the Lord. Battle-hardened and unyielding, the Khazad Guard are royal wardens of the throne of Erebor. Tasked with keeping safe the Dwarf Lords under the mountain. I don't think they can kill a dragon, but they're going to stop everything else, so I guess that's just as good. We get the Grim Hammers. I We're going to make Grim Hammers and see how they get on. I've never really rated them. I hard, I don't think I ever really made them in a serious game of uh, Age of the Ring. We'll get the well now. So Gloin's back. I'm so sorry I let you die, Gloin. I let you down. Uh, so we have Hadhod, who's basically the Siege Master. He's from that Third Age game that I never played and people haven't quite forgiven me for. Um, but yeah, he's the Siege Master. He'll make all your Dwarves do bonus damage to structures, which is really cool. He can actually grant Siege Hammers, I think, as his final ability, which is extra cool. Um, I don't know, it's 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 nice that they have a, a, uh, a Siege Hero. Because Dwarves should always be Masters of Stone. And that includes how to destroy it. We're going to build a wall hub, because I feel like being that kind of guy today. Do not let them Did we cap this? this Alright. 
We're gonna make some guardians. I really like this building, honestly. Let's actually have a closer look. The the units come out here. But it's like a huge drinking hall, basically. It's like walls come and put down your ale. So yeah, well, the final upgrade is the Iron Hills units, which are just amazing. Have they not turned that in yet? No, oh god, if we face Smaug, then... Enter Bran, son of Bran, Lord of Bran. Lord of Bran Flakes, there we go, got it. Oh no, one of my guys took damage! Glow and do your thing, yeah! So he'll have the, the uh, Erebor icon on his head to signify he's getting the leadership from... Uh, from what's his face, from Gimli. And I do apologize, it's dark. I kind of just go with it. I hope you guys still watch the video. But this is Hadhod with his, uh, I guess that's the axe he uses in the game and I really played it. I like his helmet though. And he's got like a blue surcoat with uh, dwarven runes on it. This is a brand new model. There's no Crater Hero stuff here. This isn't the Hadhod from the Crater Hero. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, he buffs structures, buffs siege. Uh, targeted building takes heavy damage. Nearby Dwarven units deal 25% against structures. Grants siege hammers. And then, oh yeah, he can summon Elagost of the Dunedain. Or Elagost the Dunedain of the Dunedain. Uh, who actually has loads of cool abilities. So Hadhod, if you just want to rush your enemy and do some serious structure damage, he's your guy. But he's not even the best we have to offer. You know what? As good as King Dane is, his son Thorin the Third Stonehelm probably has my favorite level 10 out of all the, the Dwarven heroes. Um... You know what, we're gonna make some siege, we're gonna put Hadhod to use. I really like these new dwarves. You have so many cool units, you have so many cool heroes with interesting abilities. Look, hey, you wanna do more damage to archers? Or with archers? There we go. Oh, and it even marks them, so you know! You know, I would, I would get rid of that mark. I wouldn't let your enemy know you can do more damage to him. That just sounds like cheating. And Christ me, it is dark. Take a shot every time I say that. There we go. Another. Pin them down. Hey, Stop trying to capture my building, you tarred face. So Gimli does get his Oh nobody tosses a dwarf. <laughs> he gets it at level three though, not level two. Name's Hadhard. Don't wear it out. Alright, leap. Uh, I think it's a mixture of Biff Me One and Biff Me Two. Um, knowing the age of the ring team, they would definitely put in some Biff Me One quotes in there. Now that is good voice acting. <laughs> oh yes! Dude, I love this guy. Alright, we're getting, we're getting the free heavy armor. We're doing it. Uh. Dude, we're gonna destroy these kids. I think they're getting attacked by the goblins, so maybe I should leave them alone. Because goblins are gonna be... A little tricky. Yeah, a little tricky. Okay, that's pretty much it. We'll get the Dwarf Lords. We'll get the Iron Hills Warriors. We'll get these guys again because we didn't really show them off. Crossbowmen are still... The Crossbowmen, because they get that uh, knockback at level 2, they're just amazing. There, try and do damage to me now, bitch. Uh, we don't move, but we don't take damage either. So nearby allied units gain armor. And they get damage and armor when near mineshaft. So it's both they do. Oh no, we took a little bit of damage. Heal! Validation! Okay. So this is Stonehelm, who I think has the best voice acting out of the entire faction. He's fucking awesome. So he basically does everything. He's just going to kill everything and do everything. He's got an awesome Dwarven Sword. He's got awesome Royal Armor. Whenever Thorin attacks, nearby troops gain stackable 5% damage during 5 seconds. Dwarven Grudge. He knocks back enemies and gains attack speed. And then at level 3, he returns damage back to his attackers. Um, Dwarven and nearby unit. Uh, Thorin and nearby units briefly gain resistance to knockback and 50% damage. Thorin can crush enemies. 
And then at level 8, the Stone Helm. Exchanges his Steel Helmet for the Stone Helm and utters a terrifying shout. Enemies in, a, in his vicinity flee, and Thorin's armor is increased by 50%. If you don't like to micro, and you only have time to, to buff one hero, he's the one you're going to buff. He's the one you're going to take the time to do. Because, uh... Uh, he's just too good, dude. He does everything. Anyway, we're just going to go as one big clump, except for you guys. We're going to give you the banner carriers. So this is also from the adventure card game. Damn it, Kaya. So they get speed and armor. Which I guess is really good against... I don't know. If these guys could get forge blades, they'd be amazing eco harass. And then level 5, they get a trap, which stuns enemies, which I don't think anyone's ever going to use, but it's still a, a, a neat idea. We're going to go with a solid neat idea. It's not bad, it's just neat. We're getting debuffed. What the hell is that? Hmm, something's debuffing us, but it's debuffing Merkwood as well. It must be global. Alright, so basically the Arkenstone now. Uh, I don't know about the uh, uh, how it works for the Oaken Shield. Um, because I haven't tried them out yet in 6.0. But for Erebor, it's basically like a massive faction-wide buff, as you'd expect. Dwarven recruitment time decreased. Um, increased movement speed for all dwarves and decreased cost of upgrades. Anyway, King Dane is here. He doesn't use vanilla Dane quotes. They're not a fan of the vanilla Dane for whatever reason. I always thought he was perfect in vanilla, but... Agree to disagree, I guess. Who the hell are you? I have a death march on my team. What are you doing? Oh, you're in your base. You're in their base. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Ready your weapons. How in the name of... Well, he's got the catapult and the demolisher crew ladder. Which is uh, the same, I think. It's got the ram head, which Erebor has. I'd be surprised if they took the time to create new siege for the different realms. So yeah, we get um, battle wagons, but we don't get ram riders. Alright, we'll get the Dwarven Lords when we have command points. I, King Dane, will... I don't know. I, I guess it makes sense that they didn't use vanilla. Like, it's your own mod. You don't really want to borrow too much from vanilla, but... It w I guess it would make sense if you just... Like, uh, if there was just one random vanilla voice. Although Gloin has vanilla. Although I guess, you know, you can't be... You can't, you can't do better than vanilla Gloin. I don't know who the voice actor for Gloin is. I think he was... I think he was actually, uh... I swear he voices like Aragorn or Boromir. It might have been Boromir, actually. I know it was the same voice actor, it's crazy. Sounded like a fucking Terminator, that guy. We are the warriors of Ironfoot. So Hadhod will be buffing the fuck out of him. Let's go. Hadhod disable the building. Oh god, he's hitting us here. No gold, no mead, no interest. <laughs> that is a door for you. So there's the Shake Foundation, basically. So King Under the Mountain grants leadership. Allies near Dane get 100% armor? Oh, and he gets damage near Brand. That's a nice touch. That's a solid touch. That's a solid touch up the butt. Elves of Las Gellin can Gimli one shot a builder with the extra. Oh, he wasn't near the army. Extra? Uh, half health. All right. Do not waste your time extra in builders. All right. Uh, where are those elf? Uh, those dwarf lords? I call them elves. Damn you, Mark! What? So, if you get into the late game with Dwarves, basically just move Hadhod near your Siege and then just sit there. I think we're taking a lot of damage here. The, the uh, tanky Elves are really strong. The Green Guard. 
Or the green wood, I should say. So we have the eco buff, but we don't really need it. At your service. So he has his red axe, which does which does his buff. Also, summons a battalion of um, I think those are the Iron Hills warriors at level six. Ooh, look at that red axe. They didn't even give him a red axe in the film. At least they made it red, but they gave him a warhammer. I guess he wasn't really King Dane in the film. He was just some drunk Glaswegian. So I don't know. Thematic, just to give him a warhammer so he can just smack stuff. Let them come. Fuck in hell, Stonehelm. Who would have thought Stonehelm would be my favorite part? Save me, my bearded friends. So who's fighting still there? Oh, it's it's Papa Balin. It's me, Papa Balin. Woo. Alright, we'll get the Arkenstone for that sweet, sweet buff. Durin's day. I'm hoping Smile comes out. Oh shit. Who the hell? Someone's- Oh, it was the tree that knocked him on his ass. Um, so at level 5, he can refresh ability timers. So that with his son is incredibly strong. Um, that with Gloin, I guess you get double heal. But again, it, requ it, it requires a lot of micro. And that's the new Dwarven Lords. I know Samwise was begging for a new, uh... <gasps> he was begging for a white stag. That thing can't take damage, but we can attack it, which means we can really fuck ourselves if we waste time hitting it. He keeps making those buildings so quickly. I prefer the center of the action if you don't mind. There's Dragon Slayer. Wait, how much do you actually buff him, though? Oh, do we actually have to cast it? What is this? Oh, right, we can reduce the armor of structures. Hmm, if you combo that with Undermine. I wonder if it stacks an Undermine. Keely just died like a bitch. Alright. There's the battle wagon. Someone had to make it. One, two. You can only make three of those. One, two, three. So these are the new, the new heroic units. Oh, that's right. They're like the basically the bodyguards. So look at their formation. They go into a nice little circle. How cool is that? And they get forge blades. Not quite the best light, but I'm gonna. Even though it's like a gold color, I don't know. I kind of like to think that that's mithril, because otherwise it actually looks pretty light armor for royal guard. That's okay. I love their masks, though, and the Dwarven runes. This is all original models. Like, just appreciate the effort that went into designing all these new things. I, I love these guys. Do you seek our we're going to retreat. Nope, we're going to kill these guys. Then we're going to... Who the hell is that? Oh, Farron. Give me credit. I remembered his name. I think they might have got me. Yeah, he's tanky. There we go. So overall, Dwarven heroes are just as powerful as you thought they were going to be. Um, let's... Yeah, just use it or don't. Stop teasing me, game. They have lots of unit variety. And they've got solid powers. Let's heal. I just like heavy armor. Let's debuff. Does this fortress survive? It did. Probably should have dealt with that actually. Steady. Um. Limited to two demolishers. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts a lot. <laughs> Alright, we're going in. The Death March just took out both Misty Mountains like it was nothing. I guess no smell for them. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, diabetes. I think they might have got me. Please tell me that's his. Uh, please tell me he kept that one in at least. 
I don't think we're going to get Stonehelm level 10, unfortunately. But I'll have to show in another video if I don't do it this time. But just the shout, the animation, and the helmet he dons. I'd be terrified of him. It's fucking amazing. Premature heal, there we go! Red Axe, please. So basically we got 100% bonus armor from Dane. That is so strong. You would go into battle against dwarves and you really wouldn't... Oh, they're attacking my builder. Oh well. But yeah, you would really kind of underestimate how easy these dwarves are to kill. <laughs> you wouldn't tell that they've got that huge leadership. And I love this red axe though, the red aura is cool. Can we disable the fortress? Crumbles like dry leaves. Um, so Stubborn Pride just gives him armor and speed. And then level 10 he gets Elf Friend. I forgot to actually cover those, but yeah. It mirrors Legolas. He can, they can summon each other, which I think is nice. So, is it passively? Yeah, he returns damage dealt to him passively. He is a monster, dude. An absolute monster, that Stonehelm. We've hit our command point limit. Where are those dwarf lords? There they are. We're just gonna get them to do their own thing. <laughs> that coincided with the scream so well. It actually sounded like the Gondor soldiers getting uh, picked up by Felbys as they retreated from Ascalia. That's what it sounded like anyway. Someone is dying here. Fucking slam! Uh. The Lion of Dane is strong, because his son is a fucking bowler. Wait, these guys get a passive. What is this? Consecutive attack. Oh yeah, we went over that. Staunch defenders. Heroes near them are granted plus 5% armor. A level 3 can be activated to pull enemies nearby. Oh, okay. You can save your heroes. I'm not sure if you would actually ever use that, but it's there. An angry dwarf is a deadly foe. Thank you, Death March. I like how you just sort of... I f I'm, I'm imagining both of the goblins are gone. He just dealt with... Death March is so tough, they dealt with two captain goblins on their own. I don't know who's killing all my fucking builders, but you need to get... Wait, who's this? Really? That's what you were doing? I was taking down your fortress, kiddo, and that's what you were doing. Yeah, the Guardians definitely have new armor. I don't remember them looking this sexy. Alright, heroic units versus the level 5 Greenwood. I think level 5 Greenwood might win. Never mind, they got screwed. Holy cow, these heroic infantry are strong. You know what, why did I even... Why did I even... Of course they're gonna win, look at that health! An interesting one would actually be, uh... Whether they can beat, um, uh, Veterans of the Lost Alliance. Okay, so that's the new fortress, okay. We're gonna make some builders, because we lost everything. <laughs> Will you stop with that fucking tree?! Alright, we need to regroup. Is ready. Beautiful. So we can actually teleport. Should we just troll our team? We'll teleport a battle wagon into the enemy base. There we go. And the icon for that was a key. That was kind of cool. No, we just teleported two of his... Yeah, sorry about that AI. Alright, we need some more siege boyos. They've changed the name to all Khuzdul, but uh, it will actually say what they actually are just underneath it, so it's not that big a deal. I cut short my beard for a Nearby Dwarven units deal bonus damage to structures. Nice. Do you seek our counsel? I won't be long. 
Weird, it's usually my archers that survive, but we only have one. Let's get to the building. So we got the Dragon Slayer. Two more levels, we can summon Legolas. So basically what we just need to do is pop this one. Pop this one. Actually, we'll set that on autocast, why not? And this refreshes the abilities. King's Messenger, target hero is temporarily immune to damage but is unable to attack. It can be cast on allied or enemy heroes. And then final stand, Dane, get, Dane gains plus 50% armor, deals splash damage, and minus 45% speed. So basically uh, foreshadowing his demise at the Battle of Erebor in the uh, War of the Ring. Sad times indeed. So these are the Grim Hammers. They get cut down by archers, and you have to upgrade to get them. Like, I don't think they're that good spam. Basically, if, you're, if your opponent's goblins and they're only making goblins, then maybe. Alright, let's go. These Dalish archers with their shields on their back, that's cool. Basically, a lot of effort in the Age of the Ring mod goes into custom animations and just custom armor. And it's something that other mods neglect, and I understand why, because it's a fucking painstaking process. But damn, are the rewards just amazing. Or just the results amazing, I should say. That tree is nice for disrupting attacks, I'll give it that. But it will not save you from me. The ring will not save Mirkwood. It is only the power to destroy. Wait. The Grey Pilgrim's here. Please, mercy. Ah! Ifridi! Ah! And the White Stag. Alright, well played, well played. Message received. So this gives them amazing... The White Stag is OP, because it can't die. And it's just a, a huge buff. But I think he's just outside his own uh, buff range. Armor? Well, this is an Avengers level threat. Yep, they're ugly. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Make a hole. Make a hole! They took the ring from me. I tried to take the ring from him. Most of my army was back here fighting a stag, and I just popped all my buffs. It's time for the uh, big brain plays, clearly. Don't worry, Gloin. I don't know what's killing him. Is it really all the archers hitting him? Didn't seem like that much. Okay, well, that was a bug. They can't get heavy armor, yet I just cast it on them. And what does this one do again? Oh yeah, it's his slam shot. I'll we'll auto-cast that. Grows his? Oh, grows restless. I didn't know the line. Shush. Uh, what are we doing here? Moria reclaimed... Thrall's Horde. Well, I think we'll save up for Thrall's Horde. We'll see what that's like. If that's suit. Because uh, I always felt it was very unreliable. The dragon was a bit too slow to attack. Beautiful Had Hodge, you majestic beast. Oh yeah, Dwarves in full swing now, boys. So level 2, Crossbowmen, they get the... Uh... Oh, ignores armor. That's new. I thought they got the knockback. They changed it. Temporarily ignore armor. And it's level 3 this time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to miss the, the non-stop knockback, but I, I kind of see why they changed it. Keep your wits about you. I think the ring hero is... Uh... Actually, this is Erebor. It won't be Bilbo. Retreat. We have an idea. Glory for that king, lad. The fucking king, lad. Now usually, ring people that have the ring can't go in mineshafts because it's just cheating. 
Can we teleport him though? <laughs> Hell yeah, up the butt. Kiss the neck. Okay. I'm just good like that. This has been fun. I've been enjoying myself. I haven't been able to see a thing, but it's been fun. Look at these fucking dwarves. Majestic beasts. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. We will see it secured. All right, do we have the ring? We do. <gasps> it is Frodo. Okay, we'll get Frodo because he he actually uh, received some changes. They actually made him even stronger, believe it or not. They're bombarding us. He's only got like three buildings left. We, we'll try not to attack. Because, uh, try not to attack attacks. Uh, I don't want to end it just yet. We will stand in Stonehelm because we want that XP. What is this? Eridlewyn, uh... Eridlewyn Rangers. I think Death March doesn't give a shit about the Ring Hero. Well, fine! So, basically, Gloin is the same price as, um... Forlong. And I think it's- you always have to worry about in a PvP setup when you spend- when you get your first hero, if he's purely support like Gloin is in this. I'm not sure if the heal is worth getting him straight out. I think you honestly save up for one of the stronger heroes like Brand or uh, Stonehelm. I think Gloin is not a first pick, unfortunately. <laughs> Death March did his job. <laughs> And to put salt in the wound, I get Frodo just as we win. I guess I'll get... I guess I'll just have to make another video. Oh no. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed looking at the new Erebor. What did you guys think of the new heroes? I th I'm sold on that. I think it's really good. Uh, do you like Stonehelm as much as me? I'll, I, will, I will definitely try to show off the level 10 next time. Because it is worth it. It is really strong. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with the way Erebor's turned out. So, Death March... I'm still- I, I'm- I'm- I'm delaying making the video where I pit my wits against Death March. Cause, uh, he was able to destroy... Both the Misty Mountains. We didn't see Misty Mountains once, and... This is- I mean, Captain is not an easy difficulty, it's actually- Their- their- Ability to spam is... Um, really... Like, strong. And they both made 1600 units, or was that- no, 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 they both, they made like, they made 3,000 units between them and he just handled it, no problem. 126,000 XP, oh. And he killed double what I did. Yikes. Okay. Not looking forward to fighting them. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.